Hi, this is Adrian the Ketogenic Cutie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing three keto breakfast options. One is gonna be the Keto Everything Bagel, which I got from Peace, Love, and Low Carbs website, and I'll link that website below, as well as a childhood favorite of mine, and also a no-cook breakfast option or a snack option. Either way, it's packed with fat and packed with protein. It'll keep you fuller longer. So I hope you enjoy the video. And even while we're in this time of self-quarantine and social distancing and all that, I really hope that everybody's taking great care of themselves and their families. I still have to work because I work in healthcare, so it doesn't end for me. But I just want to send an encouraging word out to each of you that are, each of us that are all going through this time that we're doing what we can, taking the necessary steps to keep ourselves healthy so we can beat this whole thing and get past and flatten the curve. All right, so let's get to the video. The first breakfast item I'm doing is a keto everything bagel. The base of this is the fat head dough recipe, which contains mozzarella and cream cheese. I'm mixing up my dry ingredients here and we'll have the link for the recipe in the description box where you can see all the measurements and everything. After all my dry ingredients are mixed, I'm gonna preheat my oven at 425 degrees. That'll give me a chance to mix everything up and make sure I have everything in place for the next round of ingredients. In the meantime, the to make the fathead dough, you probably heard of that when it comes down to fathead pizza dough or anything that you're gonna bake, you can use that fathead base um, of the cream cheese and the mozzarella and you really don't taste any of that when you finish with everything it tastes like actual bread so I put that in the microwave for a minute and a half I stirred it up and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to work with you might have to put it back in the microwave for a few seconds just to loosen it up some but the first time you take it out is actually just to kind of mix it around some so it is still a little difficult you put it back in the microwave again for another minute and then once it comes out I decided to add a little butter to it because butter makes everything better so I'm mixing the butter into the mozzarella and the cream cheese just so it can melt and kind of get incorporated into that if the recipe calls for uh, three eggs so I'm only going to use two eggs within the recipe but I'm going to save one egg which you see in the bowl already already beaten um, I'm going to save that for the tops of the bagels, like an egg wash to kind of um, help the everything bagel seasoning adhere to the tops of the bagels. So I sort of mixed that around a little bit. Um, since that cheese had sat just a hair, it had gotten a little bit tougher. So I did have to add that back to the microwave for about 15 seconds to loosen it up a bit. Um, and after that, I was able to stir it without any issue. When everything is completely incorporated, it looks just like a dough ball, just like it would, you know, any other time you're making a dough-like substance. Then I took each piece, or took off a piece of the um, dough to form the bagel. Once you get it in the round, rounded shape, you're gonna, you can just stick your finger in the center to create the whole, like, you know, a, like a bagel should look. And I just pat it around it until it start to look a little bit like the shape I wanted it to appear as when it bakes. Then I'm going to take my egg wash and just brush on some of the egg to each bagel to make sure that I get enough up there for the everything bagel seasoning to adhere. Then I'm going to sprinkle my every everything bagel seasonings on top of the bagels. I did get mine from Trader Joe's. I do have one near me. I will link um, the everything bagel seasoning on my um, in the description box so that you can get some if you're an, unable to get to Trader Joe's. Then we're gonna put them in the oven. The oven was preheated to 425 as you saw before. And we'll put it in the oven for about 13 minutes. I think the recipe called from 12 to 15 minutes. And I like to set my oven kind of in the, in the center of both of those. Now when it comes out, it's a beautiful golden brown. The bottoms had a nice brown color. The texture was just like a bready, um, just like any bread that you would have. I wanted to have sausage and egg 
um, along with this with some cream cheese. So I took seven eggs and put it in my whoopie pie pan. I'll have that link below too if you like that pan. I baked them on 12 minutes on 350 and they came out perfectly round and I put some sausage in my air fryer and when I put it all together in my to-go container or my prep container I just put a slice of cheese the sausage the egg and the bagel in there I also got some cream cheese from Aldi that was some really good uh, cream cheese and when I put it all together at work that's what it looked like it was an amazing treat to have now it does pack a powerful punch with the fat intake and the grams of carbs the carbs are the total carbs now that was 13 grams of total carbs for that bagel but you always well i go by net carbs and the net carbs were nine grams so that for that full meal that was nine grams of carbs and that actually does keep you full so if that's my first meal of the day at lunchtime i have no trouble staying full after that my next meal is a childhood favorite of mine yes that is bologna that you see on that pan now my son got the bright idea and wanted me to buy some bologna one week and he didn't eat it all he wanted sandwiches after having it at his aunt's one uh weekend and he didn't finish it so guess who was left to finish that up so one saturday my mom and i were at the house and we were gonna have some breakfast so i decided to fix us an old school favorite so here i am just putting some bologna on a pan and just browning it up and I made the little pac-man face because you don't want that bologna bubbling up on you with that I'm gonna add a couple of eggs so I fixed up some eggs scrambled in butter as I love and my cheese so I whip the eggs up and I'm scrambling them in some of that carrot gold butter that I bought that you probably saw in one of my hauls prior to now I'm scrambling the eggs up and I'm gonna add some cheese to the tops of that because I love cheese, you know this by now. And then I'll just put the top on that so the cheese can melt down. In the meantime, I'm gonna add my bologna to my mission wraps. I do get those low carb mission wraps that I showed you in a prior video. Um, I added some Duke's mayonnaise to that wrap. Sometimes I will um, warm my wrap up before, but this particular time I didn't. And I just added the bologna and the scrambled egg to that. And once I rolled, the, rolled it up, I realized, oh, I should have had some heat to this. So to remedy that, I just rolled them up, threw some butter in the skillet again, and just laid it up there just to toast it a little bit and get some heat to it. Otherwise, like I said, I just throw it in the microwave prior to. Again, this one packed a nice punch at 59 grams of fat. This was an early meal for me, probably around 10 or 11 o'clock, which is earlier than I normally eat. But I was full until about six or seven that evening when I had dinner. Along with that breakfast, I did want some coffee. So here I am filling up my water, um, my mug with water, and I'm using the coffee from the donut shop that I get at Sam's. I get those Keurig cups from Sam, those K cups from Sam's. And I'm using my little Keurig um, one serve coffee maker that I love so much. Thanks to my brother and his family for the birthday gift. Also, I'm using the skinny syrup, vanilla, and heavy whipping cream in my coffee. I don't necessarily have to have a bunch of other things in it, but um, that skinny syrup is really good in there. And a little dash or a splash of heavy whipping cream subs as my creamer. This particular time I got fancy and I wanted to add some cinnamon to it. And I heard that somewhere and I was like, I'm going to try it. So I really enjoyed that um, cinnamony flavor and put it all together and I had my little old school favorite along with my coffee. The last breakfast option is my no cook breakfast option and that is pepperoni, almonds, and a cheese stick. You, it might seem like the most trivial thing in the world to have for breakfast but it has gotten me through many a morning when I wasn't fasting and I just wanted a quick um, breakfast that packed a punch. This um, pepperoni uh, label that I'm showing you now has 14 grams of fat for 17 slices, zero carbs, and five grams of protein. So putting that all together with the almonds and the um, cheese stick, that gives you 36 grams of fat and only three 
net carbs because you have um, three grams of fiber with those almonds. So that does set off a great morning to keep you fuller longer. These three items that I put all together as breakfast options, I hope they've given you some insight as to how you can fill your morning up with some powerful breakfast options that will keep you fuller longer. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I do other videos such as this. I am the Ketogenic Cutie and I will see you in my next video. Bye.